Hey folks, Chris Fords again, I'm back with the Pocket Go again. Um, on the last video, a number of people commented about screen tearing and the performance of the snares and stuff like that, which I wasn't that impressed with, but there were emulator issues. Now, I since discovered there's already new firmware for this. Uh, so I just put it on and I'm gonna boot it up and look at the games. Ones I'm really interested in are checking the uh, snares performance and the NES performance, because um, they would seem to be the worst. Okay, it's not booting right now. Not the best start. Oh, here we go. Win. It's probably because it's booting up from a new um, firmware. So one of the new things is a new Pokemon emulator. I don't know what that does. I've not looked at it. I've heard the PS1 emulators massively improved. Now, one thing I want to show you on this actually is that there's other games: Doom, Hexen, um, Pang, Quake, Quake 2. God knows what SDL PAL 2 is. That looks a bit weird. But if I just show you, say, Quake, you can see that this should have. As you can see, it should have plenty of power to do a SNES game if it can do this. I mean, look at it. Anyway, let's exit out to this. I may have to do a power cycle. No, nope, I'm out. Okay, so let's go back to the emulators, which is the thing I really care about. Right, NES. I'm told Super Mario Brothers 3 is a good one. Now, first thing. Now, the first thing they've done is they've got this working, which didn't work on the original firmware, which is a dial on the side. So that now, if I change it, affects the volume, which is a big improvement. I'm going to turn it down. Now this seems better already. I don't know if there's a frame count I can put on. Oops. Let me have a look. Settings. So I get the um, buttons model. CPU clips, video scaling, tint. Sound setup, channel setup, main setup. Pow. Show frames per second. There we go. Back. We see the frames in the top corner. It doesn't seem to be struggling anymore. I have to admit the scrolling is still not perfect on this. No excuse for that. It must still need some tweaks. Now this new firmware, I will put the um, link in the... Oh, I'm shouting over this video music. I will put the link to this firmware. I guess it's going to slowly get better. Now, as we saw, there's a lot of settings. So let's see if we can improve this. Maybe my settings are just bad. Now, I would like it if the settings were a bit more, well, set up from the start, so we having to, so, main setup. And so if you turn on frames per second, throttling, we don't need mouse, can you imagine, and back. Now, I've made it really bad, look. <laughs> so it proves the settings do do something. Um, I think I want that off. Maybe it was set up good. Mm. 
I'll call this. Yeah, you can see it there again still. I don't get that on other. So what I'll do. Let's see if I exit this emulator and go for a Master System game. We'll go for the Ninja. You'll see. No, I don't get any of that scrolling issues. And if you can see, maybe it'll be better if we do a side on game. Um, what should we go for? What's a side on game here? Should I be? I think I saw it there. There is a little one there. Now I'm aware of the issue, I can see it more and more. I hope this is not actually hardware related and it's just the emulators. So let's. Let's choose another one. The reason I say that is I didn't see any of it on Quake. Um, let's try Mega Drive. We just sign on game. Gun Star Heroes. Yeah, I see it a little on those trees there. First time for the version, but it's an admirable job. I do hope they can fix this in latter updates. Um, let's see snares, because snares was... Now, the ones I tried last time were Star Fox and F-Zero, so let's just try Star Fox first. remember Star Fox was not a 60 frames a second game anyway. This doesn't look any better than before. Right, 
14 frames a second. Now, I'm now suspecting something. Let's try the, that was the USA one. And look at the European one, 50-50 at the bottom. Now I get a smooth 50 frames a second. I don't know why the US one's only getting 17 and the European one's getting a full 50. So this has a good thing. Let's try this again. See, even here, we're going to get 40 or 60. And this is just the menu. So. I don't know why that is. That says something for me to. I'm going to raise a bulk um, thing on this because that is not acceptable. Now, well, this is going to be the final test. Now, I'm going to allow to go to these native games. Now, we want one that's going to have side scrolling. Actually, if there's any screen tearing, it will show up in Quake. I've lost Quake too. Same difference. Now I'm just looking at this demo. What do you think, folks? Can you see it or not? Um, Yeah, I can see it. Just when you get in the light and sit there. Right, so the So the console itself then is um blighted by two problems. One is poor ports of emulators, but they seem to be getting better. As you can see, we've got full frames on F-Zero now, on SNES in PAL, but not in USA. Um, Master System seems fine, NES seems fine, PC Engine seems fine, um, Mega Drive's fine. I didn't show it again on this video, but I know it is. But the other thing seems to be a problem with this screen. Now, whether they can fix it on a firmware update or if it's just a hardware flaw, any time will tell. Um, but I did only pay £30 delivered. So I've got to accept some. Um, so it's not going to be perfect, is it? Anyway, I hope that was um, of some use. I'm going to finish the video now. See you later.